Uh, this is our model 6-2086 electric motor and what we're going to be doing today is replacing the drive end bearing and the bearing seal. Uh, the first thing we have to do is use a 732nd Allen wrench. Uh, this happens to be a T-handle and I've already loosened them. There's four, four screws here and sometimes they're a little tricky to get out. You might have to use a, a needle nose plier to to get them up there because if we start to pull the plate off when those screws are still attached we can strip the threads out so we want to make sure that we take them all the way out don't leave them in even though they're loose So just a little bit more. Okay. Now we're going to take <coughs> a three-arm gear puller, put the center bolts on top of the shaft, and then we begin to tighten down on this by hand just to Get the jaws to lock up on there like so. And once that's done, <clears throat> you can use a half inch uh, socket on a ratchet here. And as we tighten that down, that's going to lift that plate right off and separate it from the bearing. And we can pull it off just like this. And then we're going to do the same thing with the bearing now. We want to get those three jaws underneath the bearing. Tighten up. And we're going to use the socket again. As we use this wrench, that'll pull that bearing right up and off the shaft. Next, we have, we still have the uh, the bearing seal in here. And what we're going to do is we have a, a tool that we use uh, to remove those uh, that we had specially made uh, from our machine shop. That's this tool here. Uh, but if you don't have that available, just a piece of tubing, 7 8 OD tubing, uh, will do the same, same job. You put that on the seal. We just pop that right out just like so. And now we're ready to reassemble putting the new bearing on and a new seal and putting the motor back together again. I have a new motor bearing here. This is our part number 6203-ZZ. Slide that down over the top like so. And if you'll notice there's a shoulder here. I'm going to use the same, the same tool. And I'm going to tap down 
on this inner race of the bearing so I don't damage the bearing. Got to go down a little bit more yet. Okay, once that bearing is bottomed out on there, we can put our flange back on again. And the way I do this is by reinserting the screws into the connections here. And just barely start them. And then you go all the way around with all four screws like that. And you have equal torque. That'll pull this plate back down right over the bearing and reseat it. I recommend just doing a little bit at a time, going from screw to screw so that it doesn't go down too far on one side and then goes in crooked. But this way here it will seat more evenly. Now that it's starting to get tighter, we can begin to snug it up. Okay, that's still turning freely. And then we have the, the bearing seal, which is our part number 17285. I'm just going to carefully press that in by hand to get it started. And once again, I'm going to use my same tool again to tap that down in place. And once that's seated in there and that's all sealed, before you would put your extension shaft on again, you want to make sure you put the 1033 slinger back on. And what that does is uh, protects the bearing and the seal from any fluid or contaminant uh, getting inside the motor.